What is going on YouTube? This is Jim back with another video and today I want to talk to you guys about the newly announced Dark Souls 3 Bonfire 1 6 scale light up statue from the guys over at Gecko Direct. You could also get this at Toy Wiz and a lot of other websites. Um, if you're a fan of Dark Souls, I think this is something you're very, very interested in. Before I get into the deep dive and looking at all the statue pieces and talking about my thoughts on it, if you like what you see, please consider commenting, rating, and subscribing. If not, that's okay too. I love doing videos. I especially love doing collector edition and statue type videos. That seems to be by far my most popular video. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Um, Dark Souls, to me, is a, a very iconic game. I've easily logged over 500 hours across all the games and the expansions. I, I absolutely love the lore and the story and the universe of that game. And I think the most iconic thing, if there was one thing or image to describe Dark Souls, it's got to be the bonfire. I mean, it's consistent throughout all the games. It's a safe haven. It's something that you have to earn. It's a place where you can grow your character, where you could take a rest from things. It's the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So the fact that somebody's taken the, what I can tell at least, to take the in-game assets and really truly create this thing in real life is awesome. That's $100 right now US. You can pre-order it today. Um, it was just announced, as I mentioned, but you're not going to get it for a while. It's not going to be shipped until July or August. Um, I have gotten other things imported from other countries here to the US, and when it says July or August, <laughs> you're probably not gonna see it until October or November because usually it takes a little longer to process than they think that it will and it obviously takes a little more time to ship internationally. But they included a slew of photos which I'll slowly click through here you can see and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on it. Now, again, this is definitely a true replica of what you experience in the Dark Souls game Everything I think is scaled beautifully here. The one thing that I want to point out, it is a light up statue in all of these photos, except for the last one, does have the light on. So keep that in mind. You're seeing a very, very bright orange center. That is because the light is on. The only complaint I can think about this statue, you know, you think of Dark Souls as a gritty, dark game, you know, full of despair and hopelessness. Um, the statue, uh, the fire part of it doesn't necessarily sit in that same texture base to me. It looks a little too bright. Um, again, let me actually blow through to the last picture here so you can see and then we'll go back. Um, there's a photo on the left of the non light up and then a photo on the right of the light up. I think it looks way better not lit. I mean, obviously in the game it would be lit and it would crackle and I do like that maybe you would start to get some of the reflections a little bit here, although this doesn't look like a very uh, reflective material. So I don't think like in the hilt where the sword is, not the hilt where this twist in the blade is, I don't think that is indicative of the light like crackling off of it. But I think it looks a lot better off, um, you know, without the flames on. I just wonder, uh, let's go back to the photos again here. I just wonder if it doesn't really match texture wise or kind of look wise. Maybe it's a little too vibrant. Maybe it's a little too bright. I don't know. It's something I got to kind of think about. Now, these photos are taken, obviously, very highly stylized with very specific lighting, very specific background. Keep in mind, you probably aren't going to be displaying this in front of a gray, gloomy wall. <laughs> I understand why they did that, obviously, for aesthetic purposes. But keep in mind, you're probably not going to be doing that. Um, so it's going to be a lot lighter even in your home than it is here. And that's the one thing that I'm worried about. Um, I will say though that the way that the some of the bone and you know embers and such uh, kind of pop out of the fire, it kind of gives it a weird look. I mean, just looking at the screenshot here, just this piece of the photo rather, it really looks like a screenshot of an old PlayStation 2 game. It just has a very artificial look. And that might just be a bad photo. I'm not entirely sure. I think the bone looks great. I think the debris on the ground really, really, you know, the way you have all the little individual pieces of moss and the rock and everything around the perimeter, I think looks phenomenal. But just in this area right here, it just looks kind of fake. That's the one thing that's kind of holding me back from just jumping on it. <laughs> it just really pops out to me, at least visually. Um, the sword is removable. So if you want to lay it down, you can. 
Um, I don't know really why you'd want to. I mean, really, the sword does go with the flame, and I think that's kind of the part of it. I do love the detailing on the sword. It looks rusted. It looks pitted. It looks very used and forgotten about, and I think that really, really sells it very well. Um, they do have a photo of it posed next to another statue, so you can kind of get a rough idea of the height. Um, this is a one-inch, one-sixth scale. I'm sorry, not inch. One-sixth scale of size. It comes in at, um, they have the specs down here at the bottom. It comes in at 210 millimeters, which is about eight inches, a little more than eight inches tall. So it would definitely fit in an Ikea cube where in a lot of people like myself put a lot of collector stuff. So it would fit in there without a problem. As I mentioned, it's $100. Um, it is a pre-painted statue that consists of ABS and PVC. Very, very clear on that, especially when you look at that translucent fire effect that they were trying to go for. Even though they did say it ships in July and August, as I mentioned, I think you're not going to see this until a little bit later in 2019. But if it's something you're interested in, I will post a link um, in the description box below. You can go on the website and check it out for yourself. They did include a model from Facebook, which is just a 3D rendered image. I don't think it serves much purpose for this video here. Uh, it doesn't really show much of anything other than some very weird computer graphics of it. But I think it's pretty cool. I think if you're a Dark Souls fan and this is something that you want as a collector piece to really remind you of the series, um, I think this is definitely something worth pursuing. So again, I'll leave a, a link in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. One last time, if you liked what you saw, please consider commenting, rating, and subscribing. It really does help out my channel grow. It gives me more visibility and I really do appreciate all the support. But if not, that's okay too. And with that, I'm going to close the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.